My name is Father Paddy Walsh and I am the parish priest of St. Vincent's in Sheffield. And this is the homily for the first Sunday of Advent, Year C. In the marketplace of an old German town of Trier, two churches stand adjacent to each other. Watch and pray is written beneath the belfry of one, and beneath the belfry of the other the verse is completed, for you do not know the day or the hour. And now as the clock chimes on the hour, the people in the busy street below are being continually reminded of the transitory nature of life and their readiness to meet the Lord when he comes and knocks on their door. However, this message is for all of us. What does it say in the Gospel today? Watch yourselves, or your hearts will be coarsened with the cares of life. Looking up the Oxford Dictionary, I discovered that the word coarsened means not delicate in perception. Our hearts could easily become desensitised to Christ's saving message with the cares and worries of this life. Trivial concerns could be dragging us down. And St. Peter says in one of his letters, Unload all your worries onto the Lord, since he is looking after you. If we believed in these words, nothing would rattle us. But the problem is, we only half believe. So could the cares and worries of life have blurred our perception of Christ's life-saving message and made me less than vigilant? The answer in today's Gospel is a resounding yes. So, in order to become more spiritually attuned, I need to step back at times from life's treadmill and be still, not just to slow down my body, but also especially my mind. This is not easy, especially in the run-up to Christmas. How significant it is that at Christmas we find ourselves so easily caught up in twice our normal workload so that we have no time to listen to Christ's saving message. It's only when we learn to be still and listen that we begin to find him and understand that union with him is the very purpose of our existence. The synodal process, which we have just embarked upon, is also a wake-up call for the Church of our times. We have a chance this Advent and beyond not just to listen more attentively to the saving works of Christ, but also to listen to one another, especially those on the margins. Now, this is a top priority, according to Pope Francis, in the synodal process. We need to lay aside our prejudices, our biases, our fears, our preconceived ideas, our cynicism, our negativity, and embrace the process in good faith and with enthusiasm. The Synod is about taking one another seriously, especially to tho listening to those whom we might normally be tempted to overlook, people on the margins of the Church. It's about launching out into the deep and moving away what I call a safe pair of hands, Church. It's about speaking the truth with love from our hearts, but not sugarcoating it. The synodal process is not about downing those who oppose our views, but listening with even more sensitivity to them. Here at St. Vincent's, we've prepared a letter for everyone in the parish, including the non-church going, to connect with this exciting two-year process. The Holy Spirit won't disappoint us if we seize this opportunity for a rejuvenated church, but let's make sure we don't disappoint him by staying aloof. 
During Advent, we open our minds and hearts to God in preparation for the greatest birthday in the history of mankind. But we also open our minds and hearts to one another so that our synodal journey will take us, despite our hesitancy, where the Holy Spirit wants to lead us or take us. With Mary, during this Advent, let's treasure all these things and ponder them in our heart. Thank you for listening and God bless you all.